Taste. Welcome to Supersonic Kitchen. Today, we're grilling up some Baltimore-style pit beef. One of Baltimore's signature sandwiches, this mouth bomb starts with a huge hunk of beef, well seasoned and cooked over a raging fire until charred and crusty on the outside and rare and juicy on the inside. We're serving them up in the traditional way, sliced thin and piled high on Kaiser rolls, topped with the dynamic duo of raw sliced onion and the quintessential condiment, affectionately known as tiger sauce. Joining us later is none other than E. Joseph himself from E. Joseph and the Sparrows. He's been making ears happy in this region for years, both with bands like the Sparrows and the Phantom Park, and also on the solo tip. We're gonna make a few sandwiches disappear, and afterwards, E is even gonna treat us to a live performance. So strap in, hang on, and let's make some pit beef. should be so simple. Life should be this good. And people should cook. Like once you get the gist of this, stop buying the box stuff. Go out on your own. Experiments. That's hard. Oh,
Jesus. Dude, wake up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo! Did you get enough to eat? Did I eat? I feel full. <laughs> that was fantastic. Seriously, man, was, how was that? How was that? Oh, it's better. It, it's it's a riff on a Baltimore tradition. Mm -hmm. It's it's fantastic. I mean, yeah, it's a Baltimore pit beef sandwich, proper horseradish sauce, raw onions. The only way to do it, but the way that you prepared it, the way it's like it's got a little bit of smoke yeah, going for it. Yeah, did you catch it. that? Subtle? Yeah, a yes. little bit of smoke going for it. Really gives a nice top note. And you know me, rare rare yeah. meat. If it bleeds, oh, it I'm rare. eating it. I mean, walk me through your songwriting process. What is, what are some of the similarities? Because I know what I do and what it takes me to get from a thought or an idea to, to you know, to a finished dish. Okay. You know? Um, well, like, it's really funny. Like, like I, I write a lot of my songs. With, I start out with an acoustic guitar. And and then it becomes this full band type thing. And, um, and that, that, for me, is... That's kind of like the start of it. Uh -huh. So, so I, I start with something very simple, mm -hmm. and then either choose to embellish it, or like certain foods are best when they're just are best when they're just like what um, simple, mm -hmm. unfettered, not overly seasoned. Let let the heat and let let the charcoal do. It sounds like you're describing the pit beef sandwich. Right. It's like let, well because right. yeah, it's like let the charcoal do its work. Let the ingredients come through. Let right. it shine. It's simple. So it's in the case of like a get. guitar, it's like you don't need all of this delay and all of this everything else. Like just you know let the overdriven guitar do its work. Let it <laughs> feed back on its own. So tell us about the song that you're about to play. It's a song called Disingenuous and. Um, it kind of came out of frustration. <laughs> um, just my opinion is we've we've become we've become I don't know maybe it's overpopulation that's diluting the 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 uh, intelligence of, of our species. I, I don't I don't know I don't know, but I mean all of this. It's also about this like overload of everything. Uh -huh. We're just overloaded with everything. So, so people will people will go about and they will do what it is they damn well want to do. And if it offends somebody, or it or it is wrong for for any one of a variety of reasons, we know right from wrong. We're adults. They go like, yeah, hey, sorry, man. It's like, are you really sorry? Yeah. Or are you just saying that? And I find that a lot of people would say, you can tell when somebody's genuinely sorry. So I thought this refrain, sorry about that, which is the refrain of the song, is so disingenuous sometimes. Right. That it became, and that's hence the title, hence the refrain, and and then just all of this, these these images of like people looking for UFOs, and and then and then this montage of like lyrics from all these songs that I used to like, and just all of this jumbled up junk, and so. Uh, over something simple like a nice piece of red meat over the course of like two or three quarts. <laughs> All right. Well, give us some junk then, man. All right, man. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry about that I'm sorry about that So sorry about that I'm sorry about that See, hold on to what you got What if your hands are in?
position and your life Why it was handed down to you By a pack of lies Well I'm sorry about that Sorry about that So sorry about that Sorry about that Sorry about that Sorry, sorry, sorry Very much. This is great. Break the guitar. I give you. I give you gift from from motherland. Hang it on the wall. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We had a blast, and we'll see you next time on Super Sonic Kitchen. That was good, right? That was great. All right, that's a keeper.